Hi guys, this is a screencast updated for 2015 to show you exactly how to walk through uh, getting SPSS installed on your computer. I found an inexpensive rental that lasts for six months that you can install and use on your Mac or PC. So you're going to find there's a link somewhere that I've put for you where it says click here to install. If you click that link, watch what happens. A window's going to open. See that window opened? And then here's what it's going to look like in that new window. This is the On the Hub eStore. It's a store where you can purchase a rental of SPSS. Scroll down. And notice here it says choose a platform. Make sure you choose the right one, either Mac or Windows. So my computer is a Mac, so I'm picking Mac. Now I want you to ignore this expensive option at the top and I want you to scroll down to the option that you need so you're not spending more money than you have to. Um, the one you should go for is the cheapest one. 39 and change plus about five bucks download fee. This is the base grad pack for Mac or for Windows depending which machine you have. If you have a Windows machine and you're seeing it says for Mac, you gotta go back up here and you have to change it to PC to Windows, okay? So if you're seeing the wrong kind of machine, go up here and change that option, then you'll be seeing the options for your machine. Okay, and you'll see there are lots of more expensive options. I want you to pick the cheapest. It's all you need. $39.25 plus $4.99, at least as of 2015, that's the price. I'm going to click Add to Cart. The next screen to come up, it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, if you've never bought anything from on the hub, you really can't sign in yet because you don't have an account with them. So hit register if that's the case. If you already have an account, you can just sign in here. But uh, probably most of you are going to now need to hit register. And all you got to do is prove that you're with a university that qualifies you to have this nice cheap price on SPSS for a six-month rental. And the way that we do that is you're going to tell them your desales.edu email address. They'll send you an email. And then you can go into your email and check your messages, find a message from them, and prove through that email that you're who you say you are and you're with desales. Then once you do that, you'll be able to proceed. So there's a little back and forth here that requires that you take a pause and check your email a while after you've done this part. Okay, so I'm going to say I have an institution email address, so you're going to prove you're with DeSales and qualify for this special price. So now they want to verify you are who you say. So don't put in the following. The following is my email. You put in your DeSales email. Okay. Edu. It has to be your desales.edu email. If you do a Yahoo or a Gmail one, they're going to say, hey, you're not with the university, forget you, okay? So prove you are with the institution so you can get that special price. Click continue. Now I'm getting an error just because, of course, I already have an account. You won't get this error if you don't have an account. Okay, and it is saying to confirm it, you need to go check your email. You'll find one from eacademy.com. If it's not there, look in your junk mail. It's probably in your spam folder. Okay, and then um, you'll have to take a few steps from there. See video part two for what to do after you've checked your email. Thank you.